Washington Times front page for Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Russian President Vladimir Putin has accused the United States and its allies of dismissing his country's fundamental concerns about the military standoff across Eastern Europe. It marked the Russian leader's most substantial comments on Ukraine in more than a month, and the first since the Biden administration and NATO provided written responses that largely stiff-armed Russia's call for legally binding security guarantees. Then Wolfgang and Dave Sands report Putin made clear his mounting frustration with NATO's refusal to rule out extending membership to Ukraine and other former Soviet states as he's demanded. The movement of fresh U.S. troops to Eastern Europe could exacerbate tensions. The Pentagon last week put 8,500 troops on high alert for possible rapid deployment. President Biden is heading to New York this week to discuss surging gun violence that includes the recent murders of two New York Police Department officers in Harlem. Jeff Mordock reports New York Mayor Eric Adams and Republicans have been pressing the president to take stronger action as violent crime spikes across much of the country. Last month, NYPD partners Jason Rivera and Wilbert Mora were killed responding to a domestic violence call in Harlem. It's a messy situation for Biden, who risks alienating voters by not being proactive on crime, while also having to balance the interest of social justice activists demanding an overhaul to policing. Biden has sought to distance himself from the defund the police movement, and some Democrats are now doing the same. Kerry Pickett reports the move away from that messaging is political, largely due to positioning for this year's midterm elections amid notably higher crime rates. Nine U.S. cities reported record homicide rates in 2021, and according to FBI year-end statistics, 73 law enforcement officers died in the line of duty. Not including the 9-11 attacks, that's the most officers that have died in the line of duty since 1995. A reminder that you can find all these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. If you don't have access to the Times yet, you can visit WashingtonTimes.com slash George for a special subscription offer. FBI Director Christopher Wray says China's intelligence services and related hackers are engaged in a massive, sophisticated program to steal information as part of a technology theft campaign. Bill Gertz reports Wray made the remarks in a speech in California earlier this week. He noted that more than 2,000 FBI investigations are focused on Chinese efforts to steal U.S. information and technology as their threats and attacks reach a new, more brazen level. Wray said China is using its global reach and market power to steal and threaten rather than to cooperate and build. And finally, former President Trump's political committees raised $51 million over the last six months of 2021, ending the year with $122 million in the bank. Stephen Dynan reports his operation said the money came from more than 1.6 million donations, and more than 98% of those were considered small dollar contributions of less than $200. Political analysts say the cash is a good way to keep would-be competitors for the next Republican presidential nomination out of the field. It also gives him another way to influence races for Congress. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and find us on your favorite podcast platforms. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.